Yo, what's up, world? What's up, YouTube? What's up, Telegram? Back again with another video. Let me lower the TV quick. All right, I'm back. Um, going to talk about market cipher, which is a paid indicator, and also um, the wave trend oscillator. But I'm going to do, which is the same thing. This is a popular indicator I use. I'm waiting for it to load here. Um, I keep it because I paid for this thing here, but this was free. And it's the same thing. And I'm going to use both of them for a little bit, then I'll take it off. Um, maybe I'll get rid of the MACD for now. Let's get rid of the MACD for now so it's easier to see. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use these things. We're only, we're only gonna talk about, we're not gonna talk about the RSI's here. I'm gonna talk about what I use mostly. So three components to this. The blue, blue waves of momentum. The green and red is money flow that you see, right? Usually means bullish movement for green, red means sparish territory. And the yellow is the VWAP. VWAP stands for um, Volume Average Weighted Pricing. So um, this is what I saw. It's hard to see on this one, but um, where my mouse is, right? There's a green dot here, just like here. No momentum waves down, none. This is the Dow Jones. Let me use. These candles, these trend candles. No momentum down, right? And the Dow went from 25.9 to 27.1. Big move. Big move, right? It did it again here. No momentum down. There's a green dot, which you really can't see because there's a lot of green in the money flow. Big move, 26.5 to 28. That one down, do you have Dow Jones. This happened again yesterday. Green dot came, right? Dow was at 27.7, at 28.4 today, tonight, shooting. So, yeah, this, that's how I use an oscillator. Not every dot, as you can see, like this red dot, if you got in, you know, you would have blew your account. So you got to kind of use um, the momentum strategy. So opposite momentum. So if we go to a smaller time frame, right? Um, here we go. This is um, like right here. Just, just actually just happened. It's a big move. No momentum down. Green dot. 28.2 to 28.4, 2,000 pip move right there in like an hour, you know? Um, also, too, another strategy is the fact that once these waves are forming, it's pretty much telling you what's going on, too, like, like once it makes the mountain shape complete, it pretty much means like this is a top. It's a mountain, like here. This was the pandemic. Like when the, when the pandemic hit, US so you dropped heavy. This was a big move down from twenty eight to no, from twenty nine to eighteen thousand. See this? It's the cipher and the wave trend oscillator made a bottom, signified a bottom, and if you found an entry, you made a lot of money on stocks or in trading the Dow Jones. So this gives you an idea what the market's doing. Let's go to another pair just so you understand this is bitcoin right um let me go to regular candles for now so they did it here right price was eleven thousand seven, and then one to in three days it went to twelve thousand four, right? 
same thing is happening right here and here. That's why I told you on three days, I think we're going to go back to 12K. Um, I think I did it again right here. No momentum down. Green dot came. And Bitcoin went from 89 to almost 1,000 pips in two days. You know what I mean? So um, let's go on gold. Just so y'all see. I hear all these old trend lines I got here. Let's see something. I want to see something good. This one wasn't actually too bad. On the 15 minute, they both did the same thing. No momentum up. Red dot came. Goal was uh, 1932. And looks like two hours, 1923. So that's um, 90-pip move in two hours. So, yeah, the strategy be hitting. And then look here, right? This lets you know, once you see that these mountains complete, it's a, there's a top. There was a top here. There's a bottom. It kind of bottomed here and it went back up. So it kind of gives you an idea where the market's at. You know what I mean? And um, let me get rid of this one now. Since y'all know it's kind of the same thing. Uh, well, actually, let me see something else. Let me show y'all something else. I kind of already showed you guys, though. Uh, but as y'all noticed, the, the green dots on a day chart, like here, this one was here, this one was a day apart, but they're powerful. That goal went from 1802 to 2000 in like two weeks. It's a big move. So let me get rid of this. I usually keep the MACD just to have another confirmation of where the market's at. I keep the same settings, the traditional settings on the MACD. And these are EMAs 12 and 26, just like the MACD. You don't have to do this additional confirmation. This is just something I do. So I can, you know, trust more my analysis. See where the market's at. Now typically too, if you see the MACD here at 12 and 26 EMA doing the same thing, it's, not, it's a confirmation that big move is gonna happen as well. So it kind of, the, the EMAs, not the EMAs, the MACDs didn't cross, but they touched. It's not a cross quietly, they touched right on that green dot, huge move up. So yeah, that's pretty much it, man. It kind of works on everything. Go to Tesla, it's a stock. Just so y'all see like right here. There's a, uh, no momentum down, green dot. Price was a thousand, this was June, so two months ago. If you held this for too much, you doubled your money. There was, some, there was another stock one, Apple. I was so mad about this one. Right here, I did it right here. Look at this, look at all this no, first of all, look at all this. There's no momentum down for, for, for months, no momentum coming down at all. So every, every entry here was boom, boom. And right here, last one, 376 to 503, boom. And I'll show you one more example, actually, before we cut this video short, because not every dot is a good dot to get on. You know, uh, let's go on a small time frame. You know what I'm saying? So, like here, it's a red dot here. It went down, this is UJ. One, no, not one, like eight pips. Then it played, went back up, and that was a red dot. This was a green dot here, candle was red. So not every dot is good. So you got the optimal dots, you gotta find momentum, no momentum the opposite way, like this red dot here, right? It came at 11 o'clock in the morning, right? No momentum up, UJ was 
105941. And clearly, if you look down to the right, like let's go down. This is seven hours later. This is 30 pips. You know what I mean, so that's more, that's why not all of them hit. So you got to analyze the momentum. Now I'm going to cut this video short. I'll talk to y'all later.